so guys here we are on Windows on my little Toshiba laptop it's an, a Toshiba L630 it's 8 gig of RAM and a 1 terabyte um, hard drive it's an SSD drive so it goes about as fast as this little thing is likely to ever go I don't use it for production it's more of a test bed really but what I wanted to show people at this stage is two things one, how to use iCloud on Windows. Now you can see I've got iCloud, iCloud Drive set up there and I'm in iCloud. Now if I look over here there's all sorts of files in that folder including lots of folders and the status shows here. Let me just hover there now the availability status that's available on this device because it's got a little blue circle with a tick in it let's find one that's not this one is available when online which means it's on the cloud and it's accessible and I'll show you what happens to that in a moment if I click on that it will download it in just a moment and load it into uh, what are we looking at Affinity Designer but that's everything that's on my iCloud drive is in there. Now that's scrolling through about as fast as anybody <laughs> could. But you can see what I keep in there. There's some spare files, how to lay out a book in Affinity Publisher, and there's 000 and 01, because I want them at the top of the list. Some images from deposit photos, and you can see them there. Now, fold a new, organize, copy to, move path, properties, and select all. Now, I don't want to do any of that, but you can see that's scanning that drive. View, sort by, small icons, details. Now, there it is there. So, it's all ready to go. There's all sorts of things in there, and there, all but that is local. The rest are in the cloud. Now, to set up iCloud on Windows, you download the app from the Windows App Store. Let's have a look in here. That should pull that up. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. There we go. There's iCloud. And that's the app. That's now loading and it will it should pop up in a moment. There it is. And that shows you everything I've got. iCloud Drive. I've also got iCloud all my photos are on the iCloud and all my bookmarks and all my passwords. So anything I do on the Mac or the iPad or the iPhone either of the two Macs actually because I'm running two Macs one's the server and one's the design box the uh, the iMac one's a Mac Mini one's an iMac um, whatever's on any of them including this little Windows Toshiba laptop is available across all other devices now when you first set up Windows be aware when you first set up iCloud on Windows be aware that once you get it right and log in to iCloud, log into Windows, log into Microsoft, log into iCloud, once you've got everything hooked up, it can take actually a couple of days for it to synchronize across the devices. So don't try and force it, don't try and resync it, all that kind of thing. Just set up one evening and go away and go out for the night, go to a party, go 5,000 miles away. And when you come back, iCloud will be synced. And if it hasn't done it because you've done something wrong, <laughs> there it'll be. Now, we don't need that up there now. Well, not connected to the internet. There you go. You see, it, it really plays around, and, and Windows lets you win to all sorts of messages. However, once that's in there, anything you save in, for example, Affinity Designer, Let's bring up Affinity Designer. And there comes Affinity Designer. 
slowly, slowly. It's actually quite quick on this uh, on this little laptop. A lot quicker than it used to be. Now I've got OBS running in the background, which is slowing everything down on this little computer. So don't be too concerned about the slowness on here. I'm well aware of the slowness. So let's open a file. It opens at iCloud. Now this is Designer. Create a children's book cover in Affinity Designer. How easy is that? And that one should be here on this drive because it's got a little, yes, available on this drive. There we go. There's the file name. Let's open it. Ta-da! And there it is. Create a children's picture book cover on the iPad. Now that's the thumbnail for the video I put up there. Now the good thing about this is, if I were to make some changes to this, who knows, move that down there. That's all the change you need to make. And then file and then save it. Just by saving it, Affinity Designer, date modified is it there somewhere who knows however let's not spend a year looking for that file because I can't remember what it was called create a children's picture book cover okay now people are sending me messages in the middle of this that's all right but the point is having made a change on that and I, of course I can't show you because I'm not actually on the Mac but within a few moments that will be up in the cloud and also available on the Mac or the iPad both of which I use for design in fact I use the iPad more than anything now if I just close that file and exit out of Affinity Designer you can see I've got Affinity Publisher there. Instagram Story Template. Have I got any? Let's have a look and see what happens to that. That's an Affinity Publisher file modified on the 18th of the 4th, 2021, and it's available when online, which means it's in the cloud. So let's have a look at it and open it. What that should be doing is starting Affinity Publisher. Now this little this little um, this little laptop may struggle with that. So why don't I give it a helping hand? I'll open Affinity Publisher. Slowly slowly. Now there's Affinity Publisher open. Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher. Okay, good old Windows de demanding to know what I want to open it with, even though I just told it. Okay, now you can see there, it's downloading the file. That's what you want. Here it comes. And it's downloading it from my iCloud drive in my Affinity Publisher folder, which is common across the iPad. It's common across both Macs and any other device I want to um, access it from. In fact, I can also access it from my wife's computer. She's got an iMac. No, sorry. She's got a MacBook Pro. Very fast. Ooh, I'm jealous as anything. But there you go. And here it is. It's just about here. Oh, loading, loading. Coming down from the cloud. And it'll stay on this drive now for a period of time determined by 
um, iCloud and I have no idea how it determines what the time is and there it is there document contains missing fonts oh jolly good just what I needed to know of course there's practically no fonts on this little on this little Windows machine but can you use Windows with iCloud with all your other devices of course you can now there's an Instagram story template that I set up look at that isn't that nice six pages so six little files if I upload those six little files to Instagram as a story they will automatically slide through one two three four five six just like a little slideshow it's a marvelous thing and I've got that available in my YouTube studio in fact so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel I mean lots of people you know there's like 86 percent of the people who use the YouTube channel don't subscribe to it uh, that's a little disappointing because I would really like you to subscribe I work hard at doing this and by having lots of subscribers it keeps me busy keeps me interesting keeps me interested <laughs> you may think I'm not interesting but there you go so let's close that down and we're back to there and there's our story template iCloud Drive and that's about all there is to this let me see if I can find something that's, that could be in here that you could use no let's close iCloud Drive iCloud Photos everything there in the cloud look at that now you can see even iCloud Photos that's Apple Photos to you if you use photos on any of your Macs all of those photos will automatically be available on your Windows box and you can see they're all in the cloud there and they'll automatically be available whenever you want them lots of subdirectories lots of um, what do you call them? Albums. That's the word I'm looking for. All your albums are available. Okay, let's go back to there. Stop there. And we'll stop this little exercise here. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And if anyone ever says you can't use iCloud Drive across all of your devices, well, don't believe them. Because you can now what's the difference between iCloud Drive and OneDrive? OneDrive doesn't sync with all of your other devices as neatly as this one does because iCloud is built into Macs now if you're just using Windows OneDrive will probably do it I am not terribly familiar with OneDrive but that doesn't matter because I've had it on here for years and uh, let's say I've never had a lot of success using OneDrive as cleanly as I'm used to using iCloud Drive and Dropbox, Dropbox is a different thing altogether Dropbox does not automatically sync like this thing does and this is very, this is very smooth okay thanks for watching bye